I'm Helen Cadbury. I'm a crime fiction writer and I've got two books out at the moment, To Catch a Rabbit and Bones in the Nest. So I was really delighted last year to be asked if I would be part of the 2016 Read Regional. There are 10 authors selected who are all based in the north, right across from sort of the coast of Cumbria to the coast of Northumberland, down into Yorkshire and across into the uh, into northwest of Greater Manchester. I'm the only crime fiction writer this year. There's a romance writer, short story writers, poets, a memoir writer. So my tour covers as far west as Stockport, down to Pontefract, as far north as Ashington in Northumberland. It's just really interesting. I, and I just love visiting different towns and different places, some of which are kind of almost on the doorstep, but you don't necessarily know them very well. Today we're going to go to North Shields Library in Tyneside. I think libraries are hugely important. They're all incredibly vibrant, they're all incredibly important, and you get a feel when you meet readers in libraries of how much they value that service. I really enjoy meeting readers. My second book, Bones in the Nest, was selected for Read Regional. The book that I'm going to talk about Primarily tonight is actually my second book, Bones in the Nest, but I will every now and again refer back to the first book, To Catch a Rabbit. And in some cases, when I went out on the library visits, I would be talking to library users who hadn't discovered my work before, so that was a bit like introducing them to, to new books. Saw the flicker of a reflection, got out of there before a baseball bat whacked on my skull, heard it crack on the glass, been running since. That was really exciting because they could ask really in-depth questions and they had a sense of ownership over those characters and that's lovely feedback as a writer to, to get that from readers. Because although the books are set in real places, so York and Doncaster, the Chasebridge estate is completely fictional and the streets in it are completely fictional. And I think the readers really enjoy meeting the writer as well and asking all those niggly questions about, you know, what's your process and how do you come up with your characters. I've spent a long time trying to get the beginning right which I'm not sure whether that's a good idea or not, or whether I should have just parked it and gone on. I think what Read Regional does is it enables northern writers oh. to meet northern readers. So the, the readers who come into the libraries are seeing the world around them reflected um, and are, are seeing that there are people from within their own communities who are writing professionally, who are telling stories or writing poems about the places they also live in. And I think that's absolutely crucial. Publishing by nature is quite a London-centric operation sometimes. Uh, so a project like this that takes us out to our region and to our own readers I think is really empowering and really important. There you go, thank you very much. Thank you.